What's up everyone, welcome to Samurai Showdown. Uh, this game is really hype. After EVO, I really got an interest in this game. Probably not the biggest game at EVO, but uh, one of the hyper sort of not big game, you know, not like the Tekken, Smash Ultimate, Street Fighter V type category games. Samurai Showdown was really exciting. There was a lot of hype games, infiltration, of course, winning. And this game has always been on my radar, and after EVO, I was like, I gotta try this game out. Uh, apparently, this is a very, like, fundamental-based fighting game. Uh, you know, not a lot of combos, not a huge list of moves for characters. Just very simple, neutral-focused. One of the reasons this game is kind of uh, very popular in terms of tournament entrance is because this game is excellent as a side game. You know, you can kind of just, like... Uh, just know how to play it if you know how to play fighting games apparently so i'm gonna try this game out uh this is gonna be the learning process you know never played samurai showdown i know this is not a new series so yeah we'll get started here i'll check out some characters and we'll go online and then let's see how i like the game let's start out with the tutorial you know fighting game tutorials do we need basic controls fuck it yeah we do uh Fighting game tutorials really can make or break a fighting game because these games are kind of complex. In general, fighting games are kind of a complex genre, so having a good tutorial really does make the difference. Luckily, okay, we can move forward. Yeah, all walks are extremely slow in this game. That I do know. Uh... So yeah, fighting game tutorials really make or break the game. Luckily, they've been getting better at having actual tutorials. You know, when I started playing fighting games, when like MKX, Street Fighter V and all those started coming out, none of these games had fucking tutorials, which was really annoying. Because uh, as someone who, you know, doesn't know or didn't know at the time, what these games were all about, it was really difficult to learn. You know, you pretty much had to rely on external resources. Now games have been getting a lot better. This is a dash, yeah, and you can also jump out. Okay, that's cool. So dash, they just don't call it dash. Use a step forward to close the gap on your opponent or jump out to quickly create some distance. You can press and hold forward to run. Okay, that's good to know. Again. I'll give you my thoughts on this tutorial after we're done here. Okay, you can jump pretty far. So that's good. Again, the only thing I know is that this game is kind of slow paced. You can perform another quick jump after landing the previous jump if timed correctly. Okay. So there's less landing lag. Okay. Holding down the jump button lets you jump continuously, but subsequent jumps are quicker with a combo jump, which reduces the interval between jumps. Okay. So just holding up <coughs> MK11 doesn't work. You have to kind of like time it, which is, you know, better. Because again, like some games, <coughs> MK11, jumping out of stuff is just really popular. Pressing back or forward as you wake up allows you to move as you wake up. Okay. Let's see the timing on this. Okay, okay, okay. So you get a forward roll or a back roll. Uh, that's kind of a late input on that. That was a little bit too late, I think. Okay, that is one thing I am definitely gonna have to practice. Using mobile wake up means that you wake up a little faster than with a standard wake up. Cool. So I'm guessing there is no like delayed teching or all that. You just stay on the ground or roll, which is good. Okay, this is gonna teach us about blocking. Hold back, standing. <laughs> this is really cool. The characters and the animations are like fairly good. I like it. I mean, this is not a big game. This is not a big budget game. So I think they nailed the art style. I think Sam Show always had this art style. Standing guard can protect you against higher jump attacks, but not low. Fairly standard, you know, and again, that's what makes this game very popular that just if you understand the basics of this game or these types of games, you can just kind of pick up, pick it up and play. You don't have to like even practice a shit ton of combos because, you know, that's the thing about uh, playing a lot of fighting games that 
adjusting between all the combos, the mechanics, all the moves, it can get very, very tiring and it's just overwhelming, you know. Guard against an opponent's attack just before it lands, a special effect indicates when it has been done correctly. Okay, that has not been done correctly. So it, this is kind of like a parry, I'm guessing. Successful Just Defense has the following benefit. Fills your Rage Gauge, ignores damage taken from the Just Defense, Stance Break is possible. I'm guessing we'll get into what those are. Um, press LS and MS. Uh, what could that be? Like left punch life, and medium? Okay, Stance Break. I'm guessing that's it. That's not it. What the fuck is... Oh, okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. We got it. Shit. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> that was, I just attacked him. God, just... Damn. I'm already failing. This is some fucked up timing. Because he has to, like, charge... Wait, I'm doing the wrong... Th so that's... wait, what the fuck is... okay. That is... No, what? that's kicked though. Wait, hold on. That's kick. LS, M... okay, I'm, I'm doing it correctly. That, that was a bit of a fail, I was looking at... I thought the inputs came from the bottom up. There we go. There we go. Landing a stance break enables you to put distance between you and your opponent. It's like, a, what was that thing called in Injustice? You know what it was. The push block, that's what it was. It's like a push block. And that's when I'm asking time with your opponent's attack to dodge it. Oh, that's the thing I was doing. There we go. There we go, you just have to block and then, okay. So controls are not complicated. I think this is a four button fighting game. After performing a dodge, you will be invulnerable to being hit or thrown. Yeah, this is like to stop pressure, I'm guessing. Quarter circle forward and MS, LS and MS in time return opponents. Weapon attack to counter it and disarm them. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, this is the hype shit. When you fucking take your opponent's weapon. Which I'm not getting the timing for. And this is like a... Hmm, 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 hmm. That was a little bit too early, and that I did a... You can't spam it. Okay, that's... Shit. There we go. Okay. So you kind of have... Wow, that is a tough timing. That's going to be very difficult to do online. Counters are only possible when wielding a weapon, and jump attacks cannot be countered. Good to know. So yeah, you can like really knock out the opponent's... Uh, kind of weapon out of their hand and you can do this of course after blade catch which is fucking sick if you don't have a weapon because you know not having whoa yeah it zooms in like that that's the coolest part uh you're basically very crippled when you don't have a weapon you can do just like barely like punches and all that sword clash this occurs when two fighters perform a weapon attack at once repeatedly tap the LS, MS, HS, or K to win the clash. Okay. I'm good at that. The advantage of a fight stick. That's gonna sound lovely on the mic. When you win a sword clash, you will disarm your opponent. For a sword clash to trigger, the following criteria must be met. Jesus. There are at least 16 seconds remaining on the timer. Both opponents have at least 160 life remaining. Only one sword clash per round. But... Okay, so just trigger that. Okay. LS for light attack, MS for medium, or HS for heavy. Okay, so that's LS. They could have started with this, so I knew the notations. MS, it's like a little stab. Slash, that's what it is. Slash, of course, what else? You know. Well, could be anything. You can attack your opponent while crouching and jumping. Heavy slashes leave you open for longer, but deal great damage. Yes. Kind of the core of Slam Show, like big counters fist attack yeah this is all you have when uh you have yeah fist attacks see the game is explaining it for us 
uh, less powerful than weapon attacks. When barehanded, you can press LS to pick up your weapon. We know that. Seen it at Evo plenty of times. Kick to perform a kick. Okay, we can... We have standing kick. Looks like an anti-air for this character. Who is this? How... How Maru? How Maru? Little shin kick. Crouching kick. I'm assuming it's a low. Most of these probably tend to be low. And you have the sweep. I'm guessing kick attacks make up for the lack of power and speed. If your opponent is relying heavily on weapon attacks, try finding an opening with a kick. Simple. Simple shit. This is why I like this. Attack while stepping forward to perform this attack. Okay. Like, not a running attack, but a dashing attack. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You can do a kick as well. It's kind of the same slide, just uh, slides forward a bit more. When barehanded, you can still perform an advancing attack, but note that there are two sets of L, M, and H attacks. One for fist attack, and okay. We'll try all of this out, because I don't know if I'm going to be playing this guy, but... Well, probably not. Guard break. Near an opponent to break their guard. Okay, so it's a throw, basically. I think this is actually mapped to... Yeah. There is a... Fucking button map to this. Yeah, throws in this game do not deal damage. Uh, but they cannot be guarded against either, so they are excellent for op opponents who guard often. Be careful, however, as they have no effect on aerial opponents, of course. So yeah, this is a really interesting mechanic, you know. If you hate fucking 14% throws from MK11, this is your game. Overhead. Surprise attack. They call it surprise attack, but it's an overhead. Uh, basically, universal overhead. Uh, just like in... DBZ. I think that one has universal overheads. You can perform a special move with a unique combination. Yes, yes, yes. We know. That's cool. I remember this move. Oh, wait. Okay. That's a dragon punch. This game is probably tough to play without a fight stick. I don't know. Or arcade stick. <laughs> Holy shit, that troubles high. Yeah, special moves change in power, speed, distance, fight, and quality depending on whether you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. This part, I'm all over. Your rage... Now, this is what's interesting about this game. This is a rage mechanic. Your rage gauge feels every time you take a hit. And you get max rage. Cool. So now he's raged. Your attack power is greatly increased when at max range. Try avoiding enemy attacks when they are in the same state. Yes. Generally try to avoid enemy attacks. When wielding a weapon and on the ground, press LS, MS and AGS to trigger a rage explosion. Yes, that's how you do that. Kind of an awkward... Kind of an awkward input. You gotta use your thumb. You can trigger a rage explosion only once per match. Yes. Great attack power, and you can. This is how you can do the, uh, like that big slash move, or like big super attack, you know. Yes. <laughs> That's so cool. That is the hypest, and look how much damage it does. Like. This is the coolest part of this game. You can do massive damage. When you land a weapon flipping technique, you lose your max rage straight. Yes, and you can only do this once per match. So there is balance to it. Yes. And then you get this. Oh, this is the one you can only use once. Yeah, this. <laughs> the fucking anime ass. Freezing time and doing the slash. Yeah. Determined how much of your rage remains. Yes. Fairly balanced. I know people are salty about this when playing online. I've seen people play online and they get super salty about lightning attacks. Probably I will be super salty about them as well because one thing I heard, this game does not have uh, the best online. Okay. Oh, it's one of these inputs. Oops. I fucked it up. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. This game is sick. 
So you can like end 70% of your opponent's life uh, just at the end. Wait, what? Wait, why am I doing this? Was I not paying attention? Did I press... Did I complete the tutorials? I think I did. Doesn't matter because we gotta we gotta look at this super. We gotta look at this super again. Oops. That is this is sick. He's like, get fucked, bitch. This is the Ryu of this game, isn't it? And that's the Ken. There is no more tutorials. I am now the master. The only one thing left to do. And that is to pick a character. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Let's get into training mode. Okay. So we need to find, like, the greatest waifu to play. Obviously, this guy is not it. Hello. This is better. This is looking more like... Oh, shit. Your DLC. It's a bit jailbaity. We'll skip her. She is actually as well. Okay, obviously this dude is very cool. Galford. This dude looks lame as hell. He looks like fucking Titus. Okay. Okay, Tachibana. He looks boring as shit. Seth, like... Cheap clone of Sephiroth or something. Holy shit, Kefka as well. Kyoshiro Senryo. Okay, this guy. I like this dude. Tam Tam. I know about Tam Tam because avoiding the puddle plays Tam Tam. Hattori Hanzo. I already knew the ninja was gonna be Hattori Han or Hanzo Hattori. Well, it doesn't matter. You get the idea. Oh, there's this dude. Look at his hair. Holy shit. Ginger as fuck as well. Earthquake. Wow. I kind of like the look of this dude. Okay, hello, Shiki. Hello, Shiki. This guy looks the same as... This guy. Is this like some sort of like super anime transformed state? Okay. Charlotte. She looks like... What's her name from Soul Calibur? This game is like generally Soul Calibur-ish. Oh shit, I'm confused now. Darley Dagger, this is the pirate chick. She has a giant weapon. And oh hello. Wu Rui Shang. Kinda like her. She got the glasses, you know, studious. Alright. I kinda like the look of her. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like the look of her. Let's beat up this dude. I mean, there's not much practicing you can do in this game in terms of like you get to check out the special moves and all that. We'll go with the dojo. Hopefully I didn't just pick the worst character in this game. If I did pick the worst character, please let me know. Because then I'll unpick her. I have not checked out tier list. I don't remember seeing a lot of her at EVO, if I remember correctly. Depending on which one, yeah. Okay. She got... This slash looks pretty good. Heavy slash, okay. Double slash as well, okay. And this is her big sweep. Kind of like a guile sweep, you know. Hits twice. Uh, let's look at her kicks. Yeah, this this looks like to be the anti air. <laughs> Whoa! Getting a little risque here. Getting a little risque for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it is. Okay, she has a dragon punch. Uh, how do you reset? That's how you... Okay, thank you. That's how you reset. I'll look at her uh, moves in just a bit. Okay, this is her end here, isn't it? Most likely. Crouching fairly fast. Okay, she has crouching kick. This looks like it has good range. Uh, her little sweep. That, that move is ridiculous. This standing kick is the most insane shit. Damn, this game is pervy as shit. But that's what we like on Mr. Sketchhead's channel. As in, I don't know why I just referred to myself in the third person. Or fucking Donald Trump or something. So yeah, anything into DP still works. Oh, fuck yeah. The reset. 
All right, let's try doing motions. Okay, so that's like a running, like a running slash. Does very little damage. I wonder if there's like any other follow up to that. Doesn't look like it. Just runs. She closes the distance quickly. Okay, I already figured out she has a dragon punch. I'm I'm assuming. Whoa. Oh yeah, I didn't check out her running moves. Yeah, yeah, or dashing moves. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, let's see if she has a half circle back something. She does. What, what the hell is this? Okay, 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 okay. It's a grab. Please tell me this is a grab. Is there any way to... Uh, let's see. Action, stand, guard off, counter off. Wait, there's one way to test. All guard. It is a grab, but it's weird because there's also a slash to it. Or is it like some type of... Huh. Maybe depending on how it hits or where it hits. Because this is a weird move. Does she say sayonara? Seriously? So maybe only the light version has a... No. Strange. Because it's not about pressing the button. Huh. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's check out her command list. Shiki. Exodus stream. Cloudburst. Oh, Cloudburst from... Okay, so she has a... Whatchamacallit? Uh, Rekka. Elysium Halo, we've done that. Tartarus Drop. That's Quarter Circle Forward plus Kick. Setsuna. Lotus Dance of Sublimation. Oh, you know what that's gonna be. First of all, let's check out our Quarter Circle, circle Forward Kick. Wait. Is that air only? only? Huh, weird. Why can't I do that? Anyways, wait. First... So she can do... Oh, ho, ho, ho. she does have a Rekka. Nice. Ooh. So you can do something like... You can do something like... The jump attack into attack timing is kind of weird. Maybe I'm using the wrong. Oh yeah, you have to do two quarter circle forward. That is badass. I am liking her. Not gonna lie, I'm liking her. Maybe she's a terrible character. How do you reset again? Uh, uh, there we go. Reset. Come on, game. Why is it taking... Fuck. It's a touchpad, isn't it? That's weird. The resetting is a little bit strange. So we also got command list. Tartarus drop. Difficult to tell which one I'm on. Oh, it's only you can't select it, Setsuna. So down, down, LS. Yes. These are all. These are like air moves or something. Oh no! Whoa! She's a teleporter. What is she saying? She has an in-place teleport? A retreating teleport? Damn, she teleports. I like gir girls that can teleport, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, you can do that. Oh. She looks like she deals... She deals big damage, doesn't she? Damn. That, oh, that doesn't combo, though. Okay, we gotta be careful. Because that doesn't combo. I'll be fucked if I can figure this reset out. Come on, game. Damn, hardest part of Sam show. Resetting the damn game. Now I'm teleported to the other side. Damn, this is serious work. They should have done a tutorial on resetting this game. Because the boy ain't getting it, that's for sure. 
pressing the touchpad like a madman. This is an in place. But how do you get back to fucking center stage? God damn it. I didn't expect this. Touchpad button. Oh, but what is default? But how do you. God damn it. This is the most difficult part of Sam Show. Shit. How the fuck do you reset to center stage? So it's not just pressing it. But then this just takes me to the other side. Fucking hell. Well, I'm stuck. This game is extremely difficult. That's sick. That's sick. So yeah, she has also a DP. And that's the slash. So if you do a DP, or I mean like a, a what you call it, a Hadoken motion, that's the grab. And then this is the, this is the actual slash. Kinda has a weird hitbox. Cool. We need to check out her thingy. Sick. Super sick. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, universal overhead. Well, we need to reset though. Ah. Uh. Is it the same motion for all characters? It is. Okay. Tactical camera angle. What the... Oh, okay. Damn. She is sick. We gotta check that out again. That... No, not that. Whatever. Whatever. We'll check this one out again and we'll reset. So as I was saying... No wait, it's forward and then back. And for them... Damn. Cannot do the input. Well, here is the end of it. End of the road for Sam Show. There we go. No, she's doing that stupid rage thing. Which is not what I want to do. This game is more complicated than I thought. Tutorial is hardest part of Sam show, that's for sure. There we go. So what is she doing? She does some like... Oh, she teleports. And then she goes in for the kill. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. I like her. We're going online. So, are we going straight into a ranked match? Hell yeah, we're going straight into a ranked match. You have the option to apply to skip through ranks on your first enter. If you're not confident in your ability... Uh, no, I'm... I'm confident in my ability, but... Level 3 and up. I guess I'm not confident in my ability if I didn't... Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? That's it? Nobody plays... Okay. Nobody plays in EU? This is gonna be horrible then. Don't tell me this. This game is like not supposed to be that online. I heard it's quite active. Especially after EVO. People should all like... Whoa, okay. Well, I'm going against the black belt on my first go. Hey, we are confident. Shiki. Charlotte. Of course, the thing that's going to be determining things is character matchups. That's the name of the game, as always. Again, I heard that the online is not the greatest part of this game, so to speak. But hey, I got anti-airs, got DPs, got throws, what else do you need? It's a fighting game, you know, it's only, can only get so complex, but maybe I'm gonna get destroyed. 
on guard. Hey, I got first hit. Whoa, okay. She has a projectile. Okay, and that still works. Okay, okay, so the projectile is gonna be destroying me, that's for sure. She has a massive projectile. She has massive other things as well, but we're not gonna talk about those. Okay. Oh, it missed, it missed, fuck. Okay, I really need to get the timing of those. Wait, maybe you can... That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Alright. I thought that was unblockable. It's n <laughs> it's not unblockable. Why would that be unblockable? I'm stupid. That shit don't work. Well, that first match didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, okay. That's for sure the most Japanese French woman I've ever seen in my life. Okay. So, we're gonna go with a sweep. Nice. Okay. That's super. That has a lot of lag on it. Is she a zoner? She looks more zoning type. Oh, shit. Why does that miss? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So my character doesn't have like a sliding kick. That's a little bit... That's a little bit disappointing. I did the wrong button. Maybe I should just go with... Not the simple throw input. Oh, okay. That was a little bit cheap. That was a little bit cheap. She just did DP. Okay. I'm getting caught by all the cheap shit. There we go. Get DP, bitch. Ooh, that's... You don't want to miss a throw in this game, that's for sure. Shit. There's a little bit too... Okay, that hurt for her. Oh, I keep jumping over her. Shouldn't shouldn't have done that. Oh. Nice. Hmm, okay. Interesting, I was doing better by the end there. Again, like, I have no idea what any of these characters do. To have any idea, I will have to, uh, like, try them out, record stuff, try blocking stuff, you know, play a bit against the AI. I'm just doing this 
just to test test the game out but you know I don't know like which DP I should do I'll try jumping come on jump so that is guaranteed Shouldn't have done that. I'm stupid. This crouching medium kick is my go-to anti-air. Okay. It's looking like projectiles with char with uh, characters with projectiles, not projectiles with characters. Are gonna be pretty good. Why am I not teleporting? That's why I'm not teleporting. Oh, that doesn't. That comes back if you miss. Shit. I thought that. Hmm. I thought that uh, goes away. Keep jumping over her. That's it. I don't want to do that. Should have DP'd. Should have DP'd. So I gotta figure out what combo I can do from. Uh... That's really bonk. I don't want to jump over her. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that went about as well as I thought it would go. I basically got destroyed. Uh, but hey, again, that's the thing about learning a new fighting game. That's just how it is. Uh, there's people who have been, what, this game has been out for like a couple of weeks. Completely new, so cool. GG's, man, GG's. I'll have to figure out quite a few things in this game. So, yeah, that's the path to learning, you know. The thing about any fighting game is just not to, you know, take your losses at face value, take them as learning opportunities, and, you know, just not just not to mind it. Yeah, GG's to him. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I will say the online was a lot better than I thought. From what I heard about this game, it was a lot better. So, yeah, I'll keep playing, I'll keep practicing, and next time... Well, hopefully things are going to be a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sam Show, episode number one. Yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.